What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today, that's right, it's the return of a little series that we did quite a while ago now. Loads of you guys have been asking me to do it again. So we are doing another video where I am editing your photos. A lot of you saw I put a thing out on Twitter and on Instagram to say that I was gonna be doing this video and to send in your shots if you wanted one included. If you didn't see that, maybe you're not following me on my social medias, make sure you go check out my Instagram, at Rob Samble Sport. Check out my Twitter at Rob Sandals photo because whenever I announce something like this I tend to do it over there people saw that sent in their photos and maybe they're included in the video you guys who maybe did see it and didn't send something in just be aware that email address is now kind of closed well it's not closed but it won't be monitored now and until I next do a video so don't bother sending anything because unfortunately it won't get seen so loads of people sent in photos. I tried to kind of position some rules. A lot of people I'm afraid didn't follow the rules and I had to be kind of quite strict with it because it helped me narrow down uh, the people I was gonna pick. So if you sent more than one photo, then I'm afraid you're probably not included. If you sent like a download link or anything like that, uh, rather than just attaching the image uh, to the email, then I'm afraid you probably aren't included either. I just tried to stick with people uh, who had followed the rules simply because it helped me narrow down whose photos I was gonna pick. So we've got a little selection today. In a minute, we're gonna jump around into Lightroom. I'm gonna edit those photos and just kind of show you what it is I've done with them, really. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna come out any better than they would have done if the person who took the photo edited them, or really if anybody else had it, just kind of my style, what I think will work with them. And hopefully the people who took the photos <laughs> will like them. Thought it'd be quite useful for you guys as well because it kind of shares some of my editing techniques. It shows you how I approach editing different types of photos. And hopefully that will maybe maybe teach you something or it might show you a couple of tips or it might just simply show you how somebody else approaches an edit of a similar type of photo before we get into Lightroom I'm gonna ask you guys to do two things for me number one hit the like button on the video because it helps me out loads and loads number two think about subscribing if you haven't already loads of other videos to come on the channel which I think you might enjoy now just gonna talk about the approach on the actual edit. I've done um, videos on my channel before around editing and I've talked about the presets that I use. A lot of my editing process will involve those presets because that is how I edit. I tend to apply um, a preset of mine that I think could work and then I build on it from there. I tweak it to get it to kind of where I want it to be with that fine tuning. If you're interested in the presets that I use, you can get hold of all of them. If you go check out my website, I'm gonna put the link in the description, first link in the description, follow that to the presets. You can find those there. I've got a sports pack available. I have like a general landscape pack available, all of which I use in this because some of those still work for sports anyway. And I've also got a free preset that you can download. So follow that website link. You'll find everything there that you need. You can get the preset packs, you can get the free preset there too. Simply plug them into Lightroom and you are ready to to go. Right, look, no messing around. Let's get into Lightroom. Let's look at these photos and we will see how they come out. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and we've got the first photo up. Now this one is from Nick Bentley. So Nick, let's have a look at your photo. So first thing we just want to have a look and see if any of my presets I think will have a real nice effect on this. Um, you know, I quite like that, I like all the reds effect on it actually, but I want to bring out the color of this guy a little bit more. And actually with all these shades in this rock right here, I wonder if going with, yeah, I think I'm going to do something black and white with this. Yeah, I think I am. So, right, let's come down in here. So first thing I want to do is bring up the shadows a little bit here. So if I just bring up the shadows too much, uh, I don't want to go too far, so let me bring the shadows down. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to do fairly selective just across the body of this. I'm assuming this is a guy. Is this a guy? Yeah, I think it's a guy. I'm just going to invert that so it's not messing with it too much. I'm just going to up the exposure a little bit within there, probably to about there. Ooh, I quite like this already. I think we definitely need to add a little bit of vignette to this which we do down here in the effects. And don't want to go too much in the top, I just want a little bit in the top. And then I'm just going to use a graduated filter just to darken down this bottom, just a tiny, tiny bit about there. There we go, Nick. I quite like that. I think that's going to be my go at your photo, man. I hope you like it. Right, 
What have we got next? We've got one in from Chris. Chris, a member of our Facebook group. Awesome, Chris, to have a photo in from you, man. Thank you very much. If you guys want to find out about the Facebook group, go check out the Patreon link in the description and you can find out all about it. So first thing, Chris, that I'm going to do is just going to crop this in a little bit closer so we've got a bit less dead space and just make sure I'm happy it's straight. Cool. You've got quite a dark photo here, so this is going to be a little tricky. Um, but right, okay. So if we add our sports starter preset to it, and I'm going to bring up the exposure a bit, but I don't want to go because really to bring it up far enough so you've got the players the right kind of exposure, you're kind of talking there, but you see what that does with the background. So I'm going to bring it about halfway, and then I'm going to try and bring the shadows up a little bit more. And in fact, I'm going to have to go slightly. You sent me a good challenge here, Chris. I'm going to adjust that white balance a bit, or the temperature rather, because it is quite a yellowy photo. God, you have got me working here, Chris. This is a tough one. But it's all right. That's what we've got to do sometimes, right? So let's bring these highlights down a little bit, because I don't want to overexpose that background. So it's interesting. You see, I've had to play with the temperature and the tint quite a lot to try to get that kind of somewhere near uh, where we think it needs to be. I actually think I'm going to have to go real hard on this. And I think I'm actually going to have to increase that exposure just a tiny bit more. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is where you then see it's blown out, maybe not blown out, but maybe slightly overexposed this side. Cheeky little trick here. You just add a tiny little bit of vignette to it just to darken those corners down. Bang. There we go. Chris, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's probably where we will leave it. Thanks for sending it in, man. Nice. Right, what we got next? This one is from Ernesto. Thank you for sending it in, man. Nice. Nice celebration shot you got here, hey? Decent. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is add my um, sports uh, starter preset to it. What that's done is just added a little bit of colour. You can see it's made it, like, you know, way too yellow, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. That's just the white balance in the um, in the photo. So let's get that back as shot. So this is the white balance as it was shot. And now I think actually I'm just going to tweak it slightly more because I think I can get it a little bit more accurate, probably maybe around there. And I'm going to crop this in. So I want to bring this in quite a little bit. Might be even maybe potentially worth going in with like a, an upright shot here. Just going to check I'm happy with that background level about there. I want to give a little bit of space in the top. I don't want to bring it right in too close. I want to give a bit of space to kind of show the context of where he is. Maybe slightly this way because he's coming in this kind of direction. So it gives him somewhere to go. Yeah, I like that. Right, let's give this, I think, a tiny bit more contrast. And show you a trick in a second with all this mist in the background. Uh, but before that, let's just get this a tiny bit more vibrant because we've got some awesome colours going on here and I really want these to, to stand out. So with that um, sort of haziness in the background, this dehaze slide, look what happens if we do this. See, it starts to get rid of a lot of it. Now, the trouble is, if you go too far, see what it does to kind of the actual guy himself. So you just want to add a little bit of it, not, not too much, but just a tiny bit, probably only to about sort of 20 actually because that takes it up enough that I'm happy with it and the other thing we could do is adjust the blacks see if I slide the blacks down it gets rid of it a bit more but the trouble is again if I go too far again it ruins the actual character so we're just going a tiny little bit I'd say probably about there and in fact I just need to adjust that temperature again slightly I think probably about there there we go Ernesto I hope you're happy with that I like it, man. Decent shot, man. This is a great shot, by the way. Lovely celebration. Nice. Okay, cool. Right, Marcus. Man, thank you for sending this one in. I like this. Right. So, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. Something slightly different. All this, like, dirt kicking up in the background. This kind of thing, when it's on a plain colour background, looks really good in black and white. So, again... If I come over here to one of my presets, I know I think my dramatic black and white will be a bit too much on the vignette. And I think my faded film will be a little bit too bright. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with the dramatic black and white. And then first thing I'm going to do is just adjust this vignette so we don't go so hard. So I'm going to bring that off a little bit, probably to about there. And I'm going to crop this in a little bit. Not much, but some. 
I want to keep a lot of this in the background, but the trouble is if I keep all of it, the guy's then got nowhere to go, right? So Marcus has composed this fairly well because he's given the rider somewhere to go. The trouble is if I crop it down here, he's now not really got anywhere to go. And you see what I mean? If he's right up against the edge of the frame, it looks a bit silly because it almost looks like he's going to crash into the edge of the frame. So I'm going to make it kind of probably about there and then bring it across ever so slightly to about there. So I've still got most of this in the background. Now, I'm going to adjust the exposure back down a little bit on this. I'm gonna bring the highlights down too, because this area in the background is pretty, um, pretty bright. Now, we know this area in the background is mostly green, right? So the other thing I can do is to come into these color channels and play with that green. So you see what happens if I start to mess with the green in the background there? Just going to bring it down ever so slightly, not too far because that then is too distracting, but just a tiny, tiny bit so it's not like as bright as it was. Tiny bit, probably about there. And in fact, I'm just going to bring up the exposure overall a tiny bit more again. And I'm going to bring that vignette back in slightly. But see, see what I mean, right? It looks decent at the top, but it's too much at the bottom. So what we can do in that situation is we just add it enough where we're happy with it at the bottom. And then again, we're going to use that graduated filter in the top, not too far in, just a little bit, just to darken down those top corners a little bit, kind of like there. There we go. I like that, Marcus. I don't know what you think about that, but I think that's pretty cool. Nice. All right. What we got next this one's from scott so nice nice one nice shot there man thank you right let's have a look um i'm gonna go with just my standard sports starting preset i think for this just add a few little basic bits in um just gonna tweak that exposure up ever so slightly probably not far maybe to about there i reckon maybe just pull those highlights in ever so slightly how's this white looking that's actually pretty white to it. So you got that white balance pretty well on, I would say. You see what I mean? If we start adjusting this um, this temperature at all, it kind of throws it off. So I would say actually, I'd say there. So actually with plus five, we've gone slightly, slightly warmer, but not too much at all. Now let's just tweak the vibrance a bit more. See what that gives us. Yep, that looks nice. And actually, you know what? This is a really good example of almost like a pitch side edit because that's all I would do to that shot. Not a huge amount. Decent shot. Well composed. Nice one, Scott. I like that. Done. Okay, Patrick. So, nice shot. Again, I'm just going to start this one off with my sports starter preset, I think. Nice and easy. Although, actually... Uh, actually, you know what? Because... It's a little bit noisy, right? Not not bad, but slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to use the noisy crowd preset. That gives us a little bit of brightness and just helps us play with that a small amount. Definitely going to crop this in. Going to take out some of this dead space on the right hand side and I'm going to straighten it up ever so slightly. Now, the temptation here might be to straighten to the net, but I think that would be too much and almost be too wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten it to that line in the background because I think that will work a little bit better for the eye. Yes, it does. That works well. Just going to tweak the exposure up ever so slightly, but not too much. Just tweak those highlights down so we're not an overkill on that. The white looks pretty good. This is a lovely sharp photo and this is really nice. Perfect. I think maybe a tiny bit up on the shadows. I'm actually just going to take out the vignette as well. It adds a slight vignette on my noisy crowd, but I'm actually just going to take that off because I don't think it really works on this photo. No, no, maybe now I've taken it off, perhaps it just needs a tiny, tiny bit. So it's just literally to put five back in. There we go. I like that. There you go, Patrick. I don't know what you think about that, but I, I like it. Nice shot, man. This is a really great action shot, eh? Really good. Did that ball get through? No way. It kind of got through there. <laughs> man, that's a nice shot. Right. Stuart Little. Okay, Stuart. Nice. Right, I like this because you're giving me a nice little challenge here. The the hardest thing here is going to be know to what to crop. I'll show you a couple of different things I could do with this. Right, let's, let's try and do something different with this one. Let's try... Just because we're here to test out some of these presets, right? Let's see what happens if we do something a bit more dramatic with this. Let's go. Oh, I quite like the blue tinge. But actually, you know what? No, let's, let's go with this all the reds because you see what I mean? This is going to do something a little bit different. This isn't the type of edit that you would perhaps do if you were um, just sending this photo for like a kind of reportage aspect. You probably would want to keep the colours natural, maybe just tweak the white balance slightly. 
up the exposure a little bit but you know what look this is an editing video so let's do something more fun with this let's go with whack all the reds on there and then let's crop this in now this is the challenge right i think this guy on the right probably needs to come out um because he's a bit distracting he's not really playing a massive part to the picture now the challenge is i could crop to kind of there or i could go in real tight almost to sort of here so it's all about this guy and then we chop this guy up a little bit but actually i think we probably need to come slightly bigger and i think we need to keep the umpire in the frame about there just going to straighten it slightly so i've got that straight grass and also with the upright on the um the screen here in the background yep i like that going to increase the exposure ever so slightly tweaking the highlights back down just because there is a lot of white in the background of this picture don't think we really want any vignette on this more so than i've already got you could kind of bring it in a bit oh look see this is so interesting this is the type of thing when you start to play with something you think actually because i said to you we don't want to do it but actually when i had a little bit i i quite like well, it, it, I feel like it draws the attention away from the umpire and more onto this guy in the middle. So actually, I, I am going to keep that in there like that. And there we go. So guys, let's just have a quick look at what we did with your photos. Let's just go through them, see how they look at the end. Pretty happy with these. Nice. Yeah, I, f I feel like we did all right here. I feel like we did all right with these. I think if I was picking my favorite shot, um, not really something I planned to do, but look, let's do it for you guys. I think my favorite one here probably is the celebration because that's perfect, right? You've got exactly what you're after. The celebrations come right in towards you. Guys opened his body like that, really lovely shot. A lot of these are great though, actually. In fact, I, I like pretty much all of them. I mean, you know, this, this is nice, nice artistic, something a bit different. Great action shot here, lovely celebration. Again, this is great with all the mark kicking up behind. Lovely composed action shot here. Both players, you can see both the faces, the ball facing me, everything I wanna see. Again, another lovely action shot. All these faces, the ball. Again, everything I like. And that's great again. Nice timing. You must have had a fast shutter speed to get this ball frozen like that. Really, really good. Great shots. Okay. And that's about done. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope all the people who had photos that I did kind of like what I've done with them. I'm going to send those to you if I haven't already. Don't worry, I'm going to get in touch on email with the people who sent them and I, and I will send the photos back to you. Maybe you like it, maybe you print it, maybe you will delete it and never look at it again. But either way, you're going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> As I said earlier, if you're interested in getting hold of the presets that I used during that edit, make sure you follow the link in the description. You can find them out. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.